Hello there, it's I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with the finale of South Park Season 2. So after this, I shall be doing the movie? Yes? Yes, I am. I don't know why that's not like a question. Link this down below for uh, the Patreon if you can help support the channel. Um, yeah. Let's just get this now. And have some fun. Oh, there's a king croc right there. He must be four meters, 12, 13 feet long at least. This croc has enough power in his jaws to rip my head right off. <laughs> I've got to be careful. So what I'm going to do is sneak up on it and jam my thumb in its bottle. Holy crap, dude. If I get bit out here, I'm 200 kilometers from the nearest hospital. I better be real careful jamming my thumb in its bottle. Hey, I mean, I, I know of Steve Irwin. Did he jam his finger in animals' buttholes? I ho I'm gonna hope not. This guy rules! Look at the food! I tell you guys! Well, that was quite an angry crook, but I managed to escape with only a few bruises and a shattered left testicle. Next week, we'll look for more <laughs> of these beautiful creatures so we can learn more about them by pissing them off immensely. Th by shoving fingers in buttholes. But yeah, a ruptured testicle, that's no joke, my dude. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna kick my friend Carl in the beanbag and see what happens, boy, Cracky. Get away from me, Cartman. Let <laughs> me in, Cracky. <laughs> ah! I wonder what happens if you kick a guy in the beanbags. He, he cries. That's what happens. He's like some frozen guy. Come on, you guys are getting caught up. Nah. Shut up, Cartman. Dude, I saw this in a movie once. The old cavemen get frozen, and then people discover them and make them their caveman friend. Wow, cool. You guys... Yeah, that's talking about, um... California Man or Encino Man, it had a different name in a different place, and I actually really enjoyed that movie. Yeah, you know, the movie is saying the D trick is all pretty, and then the time trick gets an abortion, but it doesn't matter. Carmen, will you shut the hell up and get some more rope? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when that kid found a wallet and he got a reward? Yeah, they're talking about Greece on there. All right, people, the next order of business is a very serious matter. We need to vote on whether South Park should reinstate the death penalty or not. All those in favor say yippee! Yippee! Wait, what was that? I missed the question. Yippee! All those opposed say nay! <laughs> nay. nay! Screw you! Yeah, screw you, dude! You see, Mayor, frozen links are often found. Dinosaur eggs, woolly mammoths. This specimen could be a missing link in our evolution. If I can unfreeze the body and perform an autopsy, I could learn much about this creature's people and its time. Sure, 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 be my guest. Knock your socks off. Yeah, let's talk about murdering people instead. Freezing this body will be quite delicate work. We'll have to use the most advanced methods available. <laughs> this is very exciting. He could be a Neanderthal. That is pretty advanced, to be fair. I haven't seen anybody wear clothes from Eddie Bauer since... 1996. <laughs> that long ago? I mean, that's accurate now, but still it wasn't that long ago that even now. Fascinating news tonight from South Park. An ancient discovery of a prehistoric man actually frozen in ice. A team of scientists continues to try and unfreeze the body so that it can be autopsied and studied. The caveman was discovered by Kyle Broflowski, who had this to say. Well, I fell down this ice cavern, and I saw this block of ice, so I pulled my guy The prehistoric ice man. Oh my god. They're just... Well, they're children, aren't they? Where am I? What? What's he saying? Is that English? What? You, you're hungry? Where am I? You, you're hungry? What's going on? Me, friend. Friend. Me, friend. Mafesto. Mafesto. Huh? Ah, if we could understand what he's saying, then maybe we could get some answers. Yeah, I'm trying trying really hard to understand what he, what he was saying. I'm just not getting it. Look, my head matches up with the, the bubble. I'll go. No, I'll go. I found him. Damn, I've never seen you guys fight like this. All right, there's only one fair way to do this. Everyone stick out their potatoes. My mother and your mother were out hanging clothes. My mother punched your mother in the nose. What color blood came out? What? B L O O uh O spells blue, and that means that <laughs> you will go to the lab and help out Professor, and then we can all go home and watch Murphy Brown. Yay! Accurate spelling of blue, apparently. Very interesting. Where am I? What? He wants to know where he is. Tell him. Tell him he's home. You're home. In the year 1999. It's 1999? He's been frozen for the past 32 months. Dude, you've been frozen for 32 months. And we found you. What? 32 months? All right, all right, oh! all right, calm down. Ah! I think that's oh! enough for today. Oh! Good job, dude. You freaked him out. 32 months. 
such a long i'd love to be do you know what it is i'd love to be frozen for th for 32 months as long as you know content was available re and ready for you all i could sleep for 32 months are you alphonse mefesto the same we understand that you are currently in possession of the prehistoric ice man from 1996 that's right we would like to <laughs> we would like to offer our services in your experiments oh where are you gents from from the university of america Seems legit. And what's the fascination with the little guy? And now the Iceman watches television. This grizzly bear has the strength of over ten Morgan Freemans. I'm really pissing him off right now. Wait, this could be dangerous. Stick your finger in its butthole. That is how you calm an animal down, apparently. No, it's how you enrage an animal. Eh, either or. Let him out, dude. He's scared. He would be more scared on the outside. You think this stuff freaks him out? How do you think we'd react to what's happening in the government right now? But it isn't right! Little boy, sometimes what's right isn't as important as what's profitable. Ha 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 ha! Oh, Trump's slogan campaign. Campaign slogan, even. Can't even do words today. It's the headache. I'm not talking to you. But you're not talking to him when you say it. That's just not on. You need to give Kenny the respect he, de he deserves. Dick, you're a dick. You're a dick, and I've had it with your dicketry. I choose you. You want to fight? Well, that's fine with me. Tomorrow afternoon at the bus stop, 4 o'clock. Why don't we make it 3 o'clock? Because dude turns Phillip is on at 3. Oh, yeah. Fine. I'll kick your ass tomorrow, dick. Oh there was a kid at school who said to me, I'm going to kick the shower here at 4 o'clock. Or no, it wasn't 4 o'clock. Like quarter past 3, after school, basically. And um, I'd had a problem with him for a while, and he kept on picking on us. And my uncle said, well, just hit him there and then. Don't wait until after school. He's not expecting it. So I did. I, I literally smacked him so hard he fell down, and then I got excluded from school, suspended, whatever, for two weeks. <laughs> it's another copy of Stinky Bridges. Husband? You're not my husband. Think hard, Leslie. We used to be together for over eight years. I seem to remember a husband, but I think he was lost and never found on Kenosha Pass. That was me. Oh. Who is it, lover? Oh, this is all. What? Do we one of those triple relationships with the card now? No, it's not Polly. It's like, well, it is Polly, but it's like a, I don't know. Anyway, just do that. Didn't anybody send out a search party for me? We did, Larry. We looked all afternoon. But we found nothing. No trace. Please, Leslie, I don't know where else to go. I'm confused. Leslie, I'm with Buck now. You're Leslie. Right. <laughs> I'm with Buck now. We have children together. Calvin is eight and little Buck is 13. I can't just up and leave them. That's some fucking bad math there, love. That is real bad math. Gorak is busy freezing himself again, dick. Steve! You don't have to freeze yourself. Look! What is that? It's this place called Des Moines. It's like lost in time, see? Everybody looks like you! <laughs> wow. <coughs> well, this is it. I'm going back to my time. Thanks again, boys. No problem, Korak. Later. You boys have really shown me the true meaning of friendship. You didn't care about anything but my happiness. You put me in front of yourselves, and that's what real friendship is all about. Sure they did. Yeah. That's right. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. There's a king crook right there! And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sneak up on it and jam my thumb in it. <laughs> <laughs> you jam more than your thumb up there, mate. Uh, that's like Kenny's house in here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll save the best joke to last. Um, so, we're doing the movie next. Um, hopefully, it'll be not as hot when I do it, because I am absolutely baking. It is so hot, it's just not on. Anyway, as ever, thank you for your support uh, on, on these videos. It's much appreciated. Uh, this was a good finale. Uh, the last joke was definitely the best, though. And I will see you all again. Well, I'll see you for the movie very, very soon. And um, I think I'm going to do the Prey movie, uh, the Predator prequel. I'm hearing good things, so I might be doing a reaction to that as well. So get, get it watched!
ASAP. Thank you, and I'll see you all again very soon for more South Park reaction videos.